Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Angie Jean Chic. Please excuse my crazy hair. I need a haircut so bad and my hair was just bugging the heck out of me today on my way home from work. So this is car hair. <laughs> but I wanted to do a quick video because I thought about it on my way home. I, know. I wanted to do a video of my three favorite beauty sponges and why I love them. One of them you will see in my empties video because it is saying goodbye after this video. This will be the last time you will see my Avon beauty sponge. I love this sponge. I only use it wet. I hate it dry. But it's all stained and I've washed this many times. It is all... it has tears in it. Um, the reason why I'm actually pitching this is because I left it on my vanity and it fell off. And my she little Sheba Kimber, she thought it was a toy. So time to say goodbye. But I will reorder another one and here's why. This is super soft. It blends in my concealer and my highlights beautifully, but I only use this damp. I can dry this thing sucks, but damp, it's really nice. It's dense. Um, it's just a really nice beauty sponge. So, moment of silence. Two beauty sponges that I have are newer. I have used both of these. I have washed both of these. I actually have formed an opinion on both of these. This first one I have is from Bella Beauty, and I got this at TJ Maxx. They come in many colors. I just picked the hot pink one because I like pink. But I paid $3.99 for this. It's latex-free, hyperallergenic. This sucker is, like, dense. I mean, it is. Where this one, I could, like, just squeeze down with, watch, two fingers. This one takes some more effort. I only like this one wet. Um, it's definitely sturdier than my Avon one. It applies makeup beautifully. It blends things out. The thing I don't like about it is it's smaller. So it takes a lot more time to really blend your makeup out with it, it being this small. Um, but I like it. I don't dislike it. For $3.99, it's a nice beauty blender to have because this is, has a very pointed tip. So you can get right in there with this, where this one is not quite as pointed, so you run the risk of placing product where you don't want it. So I, I like it. Um, I had the original beauty blender when they came out, and it's soon, you know, had its demise. But I wouldn't repurchase it for that price again because there's so many other things that are cheaper that are wonderful. And and this is one of them. It's not it's not a beauty blender. Um, it's not a beauty blender. It's not the same quality, but it, it has its functions. It's just really stiff. Now, the beauty blender that is now my new favorite, and you guys know I love Real Techniques. I'm not saying this because I'm biased. I bought the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It looks like this. It has the flat side. Um, what they say is it's Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman. Your base flawless miracle, miracle, miracle complex sponge, high definition results, online tutorials. What I like about this sponge better than these two. I like the shape of it. I like the fact that this is like perfect for my thumb. It's really nice. It gets right in there. Now with this flat side, you're thinking, why would you want that? Think about it. Right under your eye. It just fits wonderful. It's a nice size, so I mean, it'll dab on that foundation or whatever you want to soak up or soak up to place on your face. I have used this wet and I have used it dry. I prefer, wow, we got some wind. I prefer it wet. I do think it performs better wet, but I'm not a huge dry sponge fan anyway, so I may just, just my style. But I really like this sponge. Um, this was $5.99 Ulta. Totally recommend it. I may go back and buy a couple more because I really do like it. Um, all of, well, this sponge has seen better days. But these two sponges here, these newer ones that I bought, they both have washed up beautifully. I use, I use the um, 
brush guard soap on these. I don't use the Beauty Blender solid soap or the liquid soap just because I don't like the smell. Um, I think it smells like dope. I, I swear. But I just use, or you can use baby shampoo on these. Um, I've, there's so many different ways to wash your makeup brushes and your makeup sponges. I just use the brush guards cleanser because I really like it. So, you know, these are two totally different shaped sponges. So if you were trying to decide which one to buy, so you can only buy one of them, I would buy this one. And the reason being is because, one, your TJ Maxx may not have that other one. Two, it works well for your face as a whole. Um, one of my friends, Makeup by Ariel, did a whole tutorial on putting her makeup on with only her beauty blender. If I remember by the time I post this video, I will try to link it down below and you guys can check it out. It's a really cool video. I think this makeup sponge would do that. So I I really like it. Um, you could use it for your eyeshadow, you could use it for your even your contour. If you had like a cream contour product, oh that'd be that'd be beautiful. It blends things out. It's a nice sponge. So good job, Samantha Chapman, on the design of this because it's it's innovative, but it's functional. Do you know what I mean? It could go both ways. So that is my what's the big difference between all these beauty sponges. The, the Avon one is a nice all-around sponge. It's really soft. It's, it's a nice sponge. Um, I don't like how it tears easily. That's my con. Um, and again, I only use these beauty blenders damp. I just... It's how I like to use them. This sponge by TJ, well, by Bella Beauty, but you can get it at TJ Maxx, is super dense. It does pack on a lot of product. I also, because this one is so much more dense than these two, this one soaks up less product, too. Um, and it has that wonderful pointed tip to where you could really get in and work with it. My only beef is it's kind of small, you know, compared to this one and this one. I mean, it's it's a little smaller. The Samantha Chapman Real Techniques one, I really like the sponge. I like it better wet. It's very dense. This one does soak up a little bit of product, which is why I recommend using these wet. If you wet them down or spray them with, like, um... You can, I've even seen people put primer on these, so it doesn't soak up as much. That'll help you, but seriously, just try them damp. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Um, I like the shape. I like how one side is flatter. Oops, one side is flatter. So, you know, again, if I could buy only one of these three, which one would I buy? It'd be this one. I just, I like it. But I also like how dense this one is. So, you know, it's up to your preference and what you like. These are, all three of these are really nice. Um, the Avon one you can order through Avon's website or your Avon rep. This one, the Samantha Chapman Real Techniques, you can get at Ulta or online, and the the Bella Beauty one, I only know of getting it at TJ Maxx. I don't know where else you can get this one, so if anybody knows, let other people know down below. So. What type of beauty sponges do you guys use? Do you guys prefer the Beauty Blender sponges? Do you guys use any of kind of like the knockoffs like what these are? I would love to know because I'm always on the lookout for a nice beauty sponge because I think that these really, really, really apply makeup nicely, so... Let me know what beauty sponges you prefer down below. I would love to check them out. I'm always on the hunt for like the perfect beauty sponge. I love beauty sponges. So if you enjoyed my what's the difference video, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!